Welcome to a new video. This is a bit more of a vlog style. It's, I feel like a lot of my videos are turning into vlogs. Let me know if you like the longer length ones where I talk about like different things or if you prefer super short videos. Regardless, I will probably continue to do a mixture of both, but I would like to ask you if you would like to see more very, very short videos of things like, for example, organization techniques. So I had a client the other day who didn't know how to put a duvet cover on without getting completely tangled up in it. And I showed her how to do it, but she actually messaged me yesterday and said, Amy, can you send me a, a YouTube video for how to do the duvet cover? And it's interesting because I think, because of what I do, I'm a professional organizer, like I know all of these things just automatically. And so I think sometimes I forget that other people don't know how to do that. If you would like some short videos of things like that, for example, and anything else that you can think of that I could do quite easily, then let me know in the comments and I will try to do that as well. And I will just mix in a few in between my longer videos. So today I, well, I say that it has been today, but it was also a couple of days ago. So I am here talking right now from the future before the rest of this video, because I realized that I keep not doing intros to my new videos. This video is all about food organization and me decluttering my own food cupboards and pantry area and giving you a little tour of my pantry slash utility room and there's a couple of other random little bits thrown in like what to do with your missing socks and decluttering some recipe cards and books but mostly this is about food organization and I really am being very honest in this video, so please don't judge as I would never judge you or any of my clients. As you know, it's been pretty hectic and this is something that I have seriously been putting off for the longest time, like I can't even explain. You might think, gosh, it's really organized. You might also think, wow, how could that happen to an organizer? Also, one thing that I did mention whilst I was actually showing you was a very large hole in the wall that's been covered up under my spice racks. And I said that I would tell you about it and then I didn't. Basically, we used to have a Dyson, like a handheld one, a non a cordless one, but it broke, it stopped working. And so Tom had it, Tom took it to work to fix it. I am not joking about two years ago and then it's still been there. And for the last that long, I've been asking him to fix it and he just hasn't. But finally, a few weeks ago, he bought it home and he said he'd done it. I was like, oh yes, because we have another who uh, vacuum, but it's a bit of a palaver. It's much easier to have the Dyson for the kitchen floor because I want to hoover it like most days. Anyway, basically that hole in the wall is from where the Dyson used to be. And then when the Dyson was broken for so long, I thought, oh, that would be a really good spot for my spice racks. Not thinking really about the fact that the Dyson would need to go somewhere eventually. But to be honest, by the point that I did those spice racks, I genuinely thought that Tom had just like given up on fixing it and it just wasn't ever gonna come back. But now there's nowhere to put it and we really need to find somewhere to put it because at the moment it's just, as you will see, balanced against the side, which is not ideal because it falls over all the time. I need to try and think of somewhere where it can go. It's tricky though, because some places that could go, there's no plug there. That's just another thing that I need to think about. Oh, another thing that I'm talking about is my 90 day decluttering success plan, which I think I mentioned in the previous video that I wanted to do it myself because it's a product that I sell and that I give to some of my clients as well. But I said to you, like I've spoken about so many times, I just feel so overwhelmed. Hence, I'm trying to do all of this decluttering and organizing in my own house. And I am writing my own 90 day decluttering success plan so you can actually see what it looks like if you think it might help you to declutter your life and your home over the next 90 days or however long it could be longer if you want but it really helps to give you like a plan in place and something to work towards and you can kind of tick off goals and it just makes it so much easier and it really helps with motivation so you can see that in a sec P.S. I also sold another thing on Vinted. Oh my goodness, I am honestly so excited about Vinted now. I've just sold a, a sports top that I was literally just gonna send to charity. I thought, oh, well, why not? When I was sorting out all of my clothes in the last video, I thought, well, I'll just try and put it on. I put it on for three quid and it sold. And it's fine, I think, selling things for three pounds on Vinted because the buyer pays for the postage. Whereas on Depop, where I used to sell something for three pounds, it included postage. So it was like nothing, it was pointless. But yeah. 
So I've just wrapped it up in some tissue paper that came from a makeup parcel and I'm gonna pop it in this and then I will take it to, I think this one was Yodel, but someone else has bought another one as well, a pair of jeans today. And that's every, so two different locations, but never mind, it's all good that they are selling. If you are fed up of living in chaos and clutter, then the 90 day success plan is really going to help you focus and take action. It starts off with the big picture, thinking about what your big goal is, what you want to achieve. Then it breaks it down into how you want your life to be in three years, then 12 months, then your 90 day plan. What do you want to do in the next 90 days? And then it gives you milestones. So you can write down what you want to achieve and by when, which is gonna to help to keep you on track. You also get a weekly planner, a daily planner, and a to-do list to help you with your goals and achieving everything that you want to get done to realize your vision of finally creating your clutter-free, calm, and peaceful home that you so deserve. So I've written down everything that I want to get done to help me feel less overwhelmed and more in control of my home. And I will be decluttering with you in these YouTube videos so you can see how I get on. If you want to grab your own 90 day success plan, you can click the link in the description box down below to get yours and finally get sorted. One of the first things on my list, my decluttering success plan, is sorting out my oils and vinegars because I knew that they were probably gonna be in a bit of a bad way. It's something I've not done for ages. OMG, oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought that I had gone through this not that long ago, but it turns out I'm ashamed to say that even this whole closed bottle of cider vinegar ran out in October 2021. Gosh, that is embarrassing. Okay, well, at least I'm doing it. This is all good. And now I know what yeah. I need to get when I go shopping. Sometimes like vinegars and oils and stuff are really hard to find the actual like best before day. Right, this sunflower oil, I actually never use sunflower oil. And yeah, correct, 2019. Okay, so that was when we moved in here. Wow. Well, the trouser, my goodness me. Okay. I hope this is not off. Okay, good. I wish it was like a legal requirement for everything to have this use by date on the same place in bottles. Okay, right now I'm just gonna set everything back. And hardly anything in the cupboard. <laughs> definitely, definitely should have taken a before photo. Before. Look at all this, that is very, very, very bad. Oh, is mummy not very good at decluttering her own cupboards? Mummy's too busy decluttering everyone else's cupboards. Right, anyway, onwards and upwards. Now we can get organised, can't we? We can stick this back up, although I might get the new one out. Because Mummy's got it wet. Okay, so that's one little cupboard. The thing about doing this is that if you're feeling really overwhelmed or you don't have much time, I mean, like, I started doing this at, like, half past six this morning, and it's now quarter to eight, because I was just doing little bits at a time. And But I've just done that whole cupboard now, so that's great. Like, you don't have to do your entire kitchen in one go. However, I would say that if your kitchen is in a total mess and, like, there's different things with different things. Obviously this was very specific, this was like oils and vinegars cupboard. Whereas if you've got oils and vinegars in eight different cupboards, then actually it's generally better if you're doing it together in terms of organising, but decluttering it really doesn't matter. You know, you can check the dates of anything, it doesn't have to be in an order, and if there's stuff that's out of date, then get rid of it. No. I will also say that I will empty all of this, apart from the oil, because I don't want to put that down the sink, but the rest of these things, so that I can recycle them, and I'll rinse them out. Okay, come on, let's go and get you ready now, shall we? Love you. All of these things sadly cannot, well not sadly, but they can't go down the sink. Like definitely, definitely do not pour anything that's like oil or sauce down the sink because it will, I mean literally oil will cause fat bergs in the drains, which is gross and obviously really bad. But also it could just literally like block your sink or your drains as well. Now this is very irritating. I didn't put this in the cupboard. Someone else has put this in the cupboard because this was in the fridge and it would have been fine in the fridge because it actually has quite a long like shelf life. So that's annoying because that's now wasted because someone has put it back in the cupboard rather than in the fridge. I might try and put that in the food waste because that's a glass bottle. I mean, these are. But yeah, so yes, very annoying. I um, I have to admit, I'm very cross with myself actually because I that is a lot of food waste for me and generally I don't tend to have that much. Perhaps it's because I haven't decluttered that cupboard for a while. In terms of, you know, like food though, it's, I can't imagine when I sort my pantry out there'll be really anything out of date, but Vinegars, oils, things like that do tend to be a bit trickier because 
especially as we're using Gusto. And this is another reason why I love Gusto because now I probably won't go out and buy any more bottles. I might buy some white, white wine vinegar because I use that quite a lot, but everything else I probably won't go and rebuy now. So now, I won't have going forward any food waste. But if you're thinking like me, oh my God, I know that I've got loads of jars and bottles and things like that that are out of date. Yeah, it feels rubbish. It's pretty horrible having to waste food, but actually you've just got to take that as your motivation to actually go and get organized now. So now this is organized, I've obviously written part of the pantry inventory. It's obviously not finished because I'm gonna do the rest of everywhere. But now I will have that stuck on the side where I can see it and then going forward I will know what I've got in without having to rummage through the cupboards and if I need to buy anything it's just a very quick scan. So I think sometimes people think oh my gosh that seems like a massive chore writing a food inventory like who has time for that and yeah 100% the first time you do it it's going to take a while but actually going forward it's going to save you so much time and you will never have to do that you know the whole big task over again because as long as you stay on top of it that's it you just tick things off and then you can rewrite your list if you want to but you won't have to go back through everything and also over time as you start to have less in your house again it will just be even quicker and and to be honest you know if you're well again if you're using gusto going forward then you probably won't need to keep so well you definitely won't need to keep so much in your house i sound like i'm really pushing gusto and quite frankly i am because it's bloody brilliant you just don't waste the food that you do when you don't use it it's not for everyone and that's totally fine but i really highly rate it and i don't talk about anything unless i think it's good now i think i might actually i've got some like jars of condiments and things like that in the pantry i might see if there's anything else i can go in here because this is actually looking quite empty now not that that matters it's great because it means i can see things but just to maybe relieve the pantry a bit i might have a look but in terms of this these turntables these ones are actually really I think these are the really cheap ones from like B&M and they're actually great, they're fine. You can pick them up for about four pounds, which is brilliant. And I don't always recommend them, but actually in a cupboard like this that's very skinny and not very deep, they're brilliant because otherwise to get something out the back, you have to take all the things out the front and that makes it harder as well to keep on top of your food. So actually having a turntable in a situation like this is a very good idea. So I definitely recommend that as well if you have a similar cupboard. I obviously do this with clients so I know that you can't recycle, uh, recycle, obviously you can't recycle oil. You can't put oil down the sink, but I did just check on Recycle Now as well to see what they officially say. So that I can also put the link in the description box, but they say to it feels like such a waste but they say to keep it in the the original container and just put it in the general waste bin if you feel guilty as i do make sure you don't get into a food waste situation going forward in the link down below you can grab my meal prep bundle which i think i've shown you before but essentially it has all of the food inventory so the pantry one the freezer one and the fridge it also has a step-by-step -step guide as to actually how to get organized with food how to meal plan and how to write the food inventories and it also has your weekly meal planners, your shopping lists as well. And it's under 10 pounds. So, and you can just print them off forever and ever, whenever you want, or you could laminate them, but don't go out and buy a laminator if you don't have one. If you do have one, great, you can reuse it, but otherwise it's just paper and paper is plentiful and easily recyclable. Okay, so one of the things that I want to declutter and get organized that I wrote down on my 90 day decluttering success plan was this area which isn't actually looking too awful at the moment because I did have a very quick tidy up before Ottilie's party the other day but a lot of these books we don't need like I definitely need to declutter them I organize books in lots of different ways some people like them organized in color order other people like them done by author or type or whatever but it irritates me that all the recipe books are like mixed up. I think I'm gonna rethink the color order and actually just put them back into recipe books. And I actually think that like so many of these can go. I'm not gonna declutter all the books right now because I'm literally just waiting for something to cook in the oven. But what I am gonna do is this, which I've already taken out there. So I should have shown you a minute ago because it looked a little bit messier than it does now. All of these Gusto recipes, of which I have probably, maybe not hundreds, but a lot, these need organizing and I need to get rid of a lot because I'm sure there's probably loads of duplicates. I also found this, which I was instinctively just gonna chuck, well, recycle, although actually it's plastic, so plasticky. But then I was like, oh, what if I have another baby? <laughs> 
Anyway, I'm going to have a look at that because I probably will get rid of it. But I might just have a quick run through because actually it does look kind of interesting. There's like exercises and stuff, which might actually be good for me now because sometimes my back hurts and basically my entire body hurts. My hips are really bad. Oh my God, I'm like a 90 year old in a 31 year old's body. Anyway, so that I will think about in a minute, probably later because I don't have time to really look at it now. There's all of these which were just kind of in a mess, like shoved in there. So I'm going to sort these out and then, yeah, I'm going to just have a quick look. But I'm just going to put you on a time lapse because I'm trying to cook at the same time, so... <laughs> Okay, so I would say I was doing that for just over five minutes and I haven't gone through everything. I've not like checked duplicates and stuff, but I've just got rid of the obvious ones that I don't want and actually quite a wedge, a wodge, wedge, <laughs> a wodge of them. Look, so that was taking up quite a lot of space. So ideally, I only want one of these, really. Because I mean, they're not huge, but do I need two lots of recipe cards when most weeks I actually order gusto? I do pause it sometimes, as I said before, like if we've got stuff in that I need to use up. So I've got a discount on at the moment, but I think that's only like for two or three more weeks and then it goes back onto full price. So I'm thinking I might pause it then and use up everything that we've got like in the freezer and in the pantry. And then once that's all gone, then I will restart it again. But yeah, so that's much better for now, but I will definitely come back to that as another task when I have a bit more time. Okay, so the long awaited utility slash pantry. I don't actually think I've ever properly shown you this room in any of my videos or vlogs, but this is the very multifunctional utility room. As you can see, it's not in the best state of its life right now. So this entire situation is nothing to do with us. It is Tom's brother and girlfriend that live with us. They are moving out before Christmas, but Yes, I can't do anything about that situation. I don't love it, I'm not gonna lie, but it is what it is for the time being. I don't know if we'll keep these when they move out. I mean, they are useful like when we have Christmas or parties or not that we really have many parties, but you know what I mean, when you have guests over and stuff, I love to cook when I have time, but yeah, I'm not sure. It's obviously a lot of electric, I would imagine running too. And they take up quite a lot of space, but it's fine for now. This is my missing sock basket. I need to go through that because I think there's definitely some pairs in there again. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend them. Or you can get like the, the pegs. There are specific ones that say like socks missing their partners or whatever. But I do recommend it because it is very frustrating having random socks around the house. So definitely get one of those set up if you don't have them. A couple of clothes errors. This trolley thing needs to go back in the shed and I need to put that alcohol in the dining room benches that is their pram. They look great. <laughs> this does not look great. I need to, that actually, that waitress bag is full of like textiles. Wait, actually it's a duvet cover, but basically I need to find the pillow and then it's in fine condition. So I'm gonna see if any of the charity shops will take it. A lot of the times charity shops don't take bedding, but we will see, I'll go and, I've got a couple that I obviously will always go to for clients and stuff. And sometimes they take them, sometimes they don't. That's what that is. That bag is full of bags and I need to fold them and make them a bit neater. And then as you'll probably see, that situation there on the wall is filler from when this, old-fashioned clothes era had a hook there but it wasn't in strong enough and it like rushed out because obviously this is like super heavy so for like the last probably two years it's just been hooked on there which again is not ideal not very aesthetically pleasing and low level stresses me out i need to get some paint to go over that and also there i'll show you that in a minute but there's a big thing there but the last few times i've been to Summertown, which is where there's a fire and ball they've been shut which is very annoying they changed their hours i think obviously the actual shop maybe is not busy enough so anyway i need to i might just order it to be honest on Line, but also I so I'm pretty sure the color is railings because that's the color that's in the wallpaper there but I just have a feeling that I repainted it in off black and I just I can't figure it out and I really don't want to go and buy the wrong one but you know what it's interesting because actually this area looks like railings a bit more blue and this area looks like off black do you know my memory is honestly so 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 bad I literally have to write everything down because otherwise I just don't remember things that vase I had like all of my vases in these cupboards at some point, at one point. Those cupboards are all full of Tom's brother's stuff, so 
So yeah, I might go and put that in the shed, I don't know, I just don't like it hanging around. The pantry area, which is what I'm actually talking to you about in this video. To be honest, it's fairly organised. I'll put a clip, if I can find one, of what this used to look like, because also this room has been so, so many different things, like multifunctional. At one point this was like shoe shelves until we got the boot room. Yeah, it's been like multiple different things. So these shelves were additional that Tom put in and they, I still haven't painted them, haven't had time, but actually it is not that obvious, so I'm kind of leaving it like that. These baskets are brilliant. They are I think they were like six quid each from Dunelm. I think that's pretty good value. They're they're actually like really, I would say really good quality. So definitely recommend those. As opposed to what I had before, which were absolutely terrible. They were eye design, quite expensive cage baskets with like the kind of open front. Oh, they were so rubbish. Like I see so many organizers recommending them and they are honestly like not good at all. It's really hard to like fully get your hand in properly. And then unless you're literally using them for like vegetables, if you were using them for potatoes and things like that, be fine but if you want to store anything like packets or anything it's yeah a nightmare so I definitely don't recommend those if you're thinking about getting them also these are much cheaper and I think they look a lot nicer as well these bowls I just use for like fruit and eggs I don't store eggs in the fridge and you're not actually meant to because they take on the smells of the fridge if you didn't know that this is for potatoes because it's better to have keep potatoes in the dark these jars are like a mix I think actually all these are Ikea and this is pretty much just pasta. And then I've got those baskets up there, which are Ikea. I've had those for yonks. I can't remember how much they are. More jars. Obviously, everything is labelled. Oh, there's some more baskets up there. And that's got things like excess tea, kitchen roll. So they're quite handy up there, like out of the way. And then obviously I have my little stool that helps me to get to all of these locations up here. The spice rack, I love this, although we have an issue with the Dyson. The spice racks are from Ikea, again, really not expensive. The jars, I am pretty sure they're from Eden and Willow, but I will double check and then I will link them down below. And the labels, frustratingly, I can't find these. Now I'm pretty certain I bought them from Etsy, but again, years ago, it just says it's not focusing, but it just says HL Designs. And I've tried to search on Google, Etsy, Instagram, and I just can't find it. So if you have these and you know where they're from, please tell me because as you will see, I've got a couple that are just done with my label maker because I don't know why, but time wasn't on there. It was just like a standard set. And there were some things that were like duplicate. It actually probably wasn't like great if I'm honest, but I don't want to get labels that aren't exactly the same because it will just absolutely set my OCD off. At the same time, I don't want to go and rebuy all of them from somewhere else because they're not silly money, but it's just an expense I don't need to make if I can find the exact same labels. I really recommend having your spices like this because it's really easy to see when they're decanted you can see when they need topping up however as I've said before if you don't do a lot of cooking I definitely don't recommend this and also if you're if you don't have time to manage decanting don't do it either because it does require a bit of like discipline and effort and you have to put like the expiry dates and things like that I would say though herbs and spices are not such a problem because when they're past their use by date it just means that they're not quite as pungent. Don't quote me on every single <laughs> spice and herb but generally it just means it's not quite as pungent and it's still fine to eat. But if you want it to look really nice and aesthetically pleasing I definitely recommend that. What I definitely wouldn't recommend though especially on just what I just said is decanting all of these things I don't recommend because if you're not going to use it a lot you know like I used to do so much cooking and baking and that type of stuff before I had the baby and before I got really <laughs> busy with my business. Not so much now, so if I'm honest, I would imagine that some of this is quite possibly out of date and that makes me feel really bad because <laughs> of my job. But you know, I'm completely honest and realistic and I don't want you to feel bad if you're in this situation as well. But yeah, don't decant things unless you're prepared to deal with them. Things like that flour and stuff I use a lot, like I use it for cooking and obviously sugar doesn't go off. Pasta, couscous, that type of stuff. All the jars at Ikea, the, those two bowls of Sophie Conran, Port Mary then, I'll link them below. And now I'm going to put you on a time lapse and write my food inventories because it's something that's been bothering me for a long time because I know that there's things in the freezer that I could use up and same in here. I just want to really simplify things and use stuff up definitely before like the Christmas period starts and everything. So I'm gonna write my finished writing, sorry, my food inventories. I already started the pantry one when I decluttered my oil and vinegar cupboard, which you saw. I'm gonna carry on doing that. I'm just gonna do a time lapse because otherwise I'll just bore you with all of my chat.
So the next task was the freezer inventory. Now we do have two freezers, but this one, the only bit that's ours is the bottom drawer. The other two are Tom's brother and girlfriend. So I just went through that drawer and wrote everything down that was in there. Mostly it's just like chopped up vegetables that I wasn't gonna use in time from the fridge. And then I moved on to the other freezer. This one is entirely ours. The top shelf annoyingly is broken, which I hate. I keep meaning to replace it, but it's just not top of my priority right now. So I wrote everything down that was in here and I also gave the freezer a bit of a clean because I don't know if you saw that, but there was definitely something that had spilt down it, which was not great. It was mostly just fresh herbs that I wasn't gonna use all of. So I froze them and then some frozen fruit and I think some random pita breads were in there and some ice cream and that was pretty much it. The, I found some mango that was definitely past its best and so I made a quick smoothie out of that and it was actually okay, it probably wasn't like the best because I only had mango, pineapple and some orange juice, there was no ginger or anything, but it was okay and I will drink it over the next couple of days. So these are my finished freezer, pantry and Actually, I didn't do the fridge one because there's not much in my fridge, but the freezer and pantry inventory. So everything is written down, which means that when I write my meal plan, I can incorporate um, ingredients that I've already got in, which will mean that I will spend less on my shopping and finally use everything up, which is great. And it will be so much quicker to write the shopping list as well, which we love. We're always trying to save time because we're all busy, so that's good. And then, Finally, a few things, to be fair, there was actually not much that was out of date, which I was pleased about in this area, thank goodness. But there are a couple of things that were a little bit out of date that I just won't eat in time. I would be happy to consume them, but it's just not gonna happen in, you know, and I would rather let someone else use them. So basically these items here, I took photos of and I just uploaded them straight onto Olio. And the good news is everything has gone. I put them on Olio in that time and straight away two of the items someone messaged me about and then now as I'm editing this, all of the items have been claimed. If you don't know about Olio, it is a local app that aims to prevent food waste. So if you have anything that you're not gonna be able to eat in time, even if it's half a loaf of bread, even if it's slightly out of date, you can put it on the app and people local to you will be able to see it and then they can message you and ask if they can come and collect it. It's really easy to use and super quick to list. You don't have to write really long descriptions. It's great, I highly recommend it. And here I just put up all of my inventories, meal planners and shopping list to make it super easy for everyone to see and keep on top of. <sighs> Gosh, I feel so relieved after doing that. I honestly can't tell you how good I feel. Just finally going through all of the food in our house, knowing exactly what we've got in. There was a lot less in the freezer than I thought there was. I had a few like lasagnas and things like that that I'd pre-made and we actually ate them the other day. So yeah, I'm happy about that. I'm happy that everywhere is a bit tidier and I know exactly what I've got in which is going to make it so easy now for me to create a meal plan to use everything up. So I'm not going to do that in this vlog because it's really long <laughs> and um, I'm also tired and I do need to get on with some more work before I go and pick Ottilie up from my mum's. But yes, I hope you enjoyed that. And one thing I did just want to mention as well, which I realised when I was editing this, was the expiry dates and also the date added on those food inventories. So I have to say, I generally don't ever write the date that was added. That is more relevant for fridge items. So for example, if you open a sauce, you know, you have a certain amount of time that it recommends that you eat it within once it's opened. So that section is pretty much just for fridge really. I don't tend to add that on. And then also the expiry date. So again, some of the things, most of the jars I have got labeled on the back, the use by date, but I just didn't write it on there because I plan to just use everything up as quickly as I possibly can. So I didn't bother to write the expiry dates on a lot of the things. Some of the things I did because they're like not open and I want to keep on track as to when they need to be used by, but anything that's decanted in jars, I'm just gonna use and incorporate it into my next meal plan <sighs> so yes i really hope you enjoyed that please let me know what you thought in the comments let me know if i've inspired you or if you've learned anything new please let me know don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more and i hope you have a lovely evening bye